Hey everybody, welcome to Burra Tech. In this episode, we're gonna be asking the question, which engine should you use if you wanna make a 2D game? Should you use Construct 3 or Unity? All right, welcome back. Now, before we start this video, I wanna make sure that you like and subscribe. And if you really like this video, please share it. Also, please check out the links down below for the courses. We don't do a Patreon on this channel. Instead, we sell our online products. Remember that every dollar that we get from the products down below goes into making more content. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the engines itself and what you can expect. So the topic of this video is whether you should use Construct 3 or Unity to make a 2D game. Now this isn't a 3D game because Construct 3 doesn't have 3D functionality. This is specifically a 2D game. Which engine is better? Disclaimer, both of these engines are really good and a lot of times when it comes to picking the right engine, it's all about personal preference. If you like one engine over the other, that's completely okay. But for this video, I'm gonna be going through the pros and cons of each engine, and then I'm gonna give you my opinion on which engine you should use. So let's talk about Unity 3D first. Now, Unity 3D is an amazing engine. In fact, it's one of the best engines out there, and a lot of games are made on it. Now, because there's been a lot of games that have been made on Unity 3D, there's a lot of documentation, and there's a lot of support out there. Chances are, if you need to do something, there's some source code out there for you. In addition, Unity 3D is a very robust engine, and if you want to do something that is literally anything in your game, chances are you can do that for you. Now, I remember when Unity 3D was just literally Unity 3D and it didn't have a 2D option and they added the 2D feature. Basically what it was is a 3D game, but the camera is situated kind of on top of a table. And on that table, you had different objects. Now, this is a really good advantage to using Unity 3D because then you can zoom in and zoom out of your game. In fact, you probably see a lot of 2D games that do this. They're a simple platformer game, but you can zoom in and zoom out. And sometimes they have a different level behind the current level and you can kind of swap in between the two. There's a lot of features that can be used by having this camera situated in this way. So when you think of a Unity 2D game, it's really a 3D game, but the camera is situated in such a way versus let's say a 3D game where the camera can go in all three dimensions. Now with Unity 3D, it uses C Sharp and C Sharp is a very good programming language and it's fairly easy to use. It's easier than C++, but over the years there have been new programming languages such as Swift that are even easier to use than C Sharp. So even though C Sharp is really easy to use, there are better options out there. Like I said before, you can pretty much do anything you want in Unity 3D because it's so robust. Sometimes this overwhelms beginners because the engine is so incredibly robust that there are too many options. Now, it's easy to get overwhelmed when you're making your first game, so if you follow this channel and you follow me over the years, I recommend making a very simple game first and pushing that release button before you make your big game. In fact, if you do this a few times, then you'll actually become a better game developer. If you make 10 small games, you'll be a better programmer than if you make one really large game, even if it takes the same amount of time. So Unity has a lot of functionality where you can add scripts and you can add materials and you can make your sprites work extremely well. It is a very good engine. So what are some other features that are really good with Unity 3D? Well, Unity 3D has a huge asset store where you can buy a lot of assets and you can look at some source code as well. Now, personally, I don't like buying templates to use in an actual game, a commercial game that is, and that's a story for another time, but you can buy these templates and look at the source code and reverse engineer how they work. This is probably the best use of templates in my opinion, but if you do like templates, there's a lot of templates out there. In addition, there's a lot of art out there on the asset store that you can use. This is good news because you can prototype your game with placeholder art and it doesn't look very bad. And the last thing that Unity 3D is amazing at is exports. You can pretty much export your game everywhere. Now, in the past, if you've ever been a game developer, it's been very difficult to export to different locations. In fact, oftentimes you might have to rewrite the entire game from scratch just to put it on a different system. That is no longer the case. Having said that though, there are some features that you have to add in at the code level to make your game work on, let's say, an Apple TV versus an iPhone versus an Xbox. They're all different devices and they will require code level support. However, the major technical parts of distributing to all of these different systems have been largely taken care of by Unity. Unity is completely free, but if you want the pro features, it does cost quite a bit of money. This is to be expected as Unity puts in a lot of their money that they get right back into development and it absolutely shows. 
So Unity is a great engine, but let's talk about some of the cons of using Unity. Well, the biggest con is that programming in C-sharp, while it's easy, can be very difficult and can be very frustrating at times. In addition, if you are making a very simple, casual mobile game that's 2D, then perhaps Unity might be a bit too complex for that. So sometimes in the past when I have used Unity, I wanted to do some things that were really, really simple, but they ended up being way more complicated than I thought they would be. So sometimes the code isn't as intuitive as you might expect it to be. And because C-sharp is an older language, some of the paradigms are becoming outdated. Now, I would personally love it if Swift was in Unity. Now, I know that's very controversial, but I like Swift. So in conclusion, Unity is a great engine. However, it can be frustrating at times. So let's talk about Construct 3 and why it is so awesome. So if you've been following me for many years, you know that I'm a fan of Skira and I'm a fan of Construct. In fact, my first online course that I made was about Construct 2 way back in 2011. Construct 2 was amazing and Construct 3 is a lot better. Let's talk about some of the pros of Construct 3. Now, the number one pro about Construct 3 is that it is so incredibly easy to use. In fact, I can make a game in Construct 3 at maybe one-tenth the time it takes in other engines just because it's so simple and it's built for speed. Now, if you want to release a game, you want to do it as fast as possible without compromising quality. And you also want to do this without making sure that you are frustrated because coding and game development is inherently frustrating and you should pick an engine that takes all that frustration out for you. Now, Unity does this, but I think Construct does it even better. Making a game in Construct is fairly easy and fairly effortless. Oftentimes when I use Construct 3, it is the easiest engine that I can ever use to get the job out there. Not only is Construct 3 easy to use, but it has an incredibly robust set of tools. In fact, oftentimes when I make a game in Construct 3, I rarely require extra tools, that is extra add-ons. And even if I do require extra add-ons, there's a huge add-on library that you can use if you need to. So even then, I still don't necessarily need to use these add-ons because most of the games I build from scratch, but it's nice to have them if I need to. There's also a lot of effects that you can add onto your game to make it look more polished and to give it that extra bit of shine. One of the things I love about Construct 3 is the Tile Set Editor. Now, the Tile Set Editor is incredible and I think it's really easy if you want to make a retro game. In fact, I would say if you really want to go for the retro aesthetic, Construct 3 is probably the best engine to use hands down. You'll be able to get your retro game out there faster and with less frustration than pretty much any other engine. The tile set is a huge part of this. It's very easy to use and it has a robust set of features. In addition to the tile set, Construct 3 has its own pixel art editor, which I think is really good. Now there's a few issues. For example, the background doesn't necessarily have that Photoshop feel where the external part of the palette is one color and the pixels are each a square, but it's not perfect. I do really like it. In fact, I like making the art in in pixel editor. In fact, you can take a look at this game that I made in just seven hours using Construct 3. I used the pixel art editor to make most of the art in that game, including the animations. So overall, Construct 3 is a very robust engine with a ton of features, and it's really easy to get your game out there. Now let's talk about some of the cons in Construct 3. The major con in Construct 3 is that it's not necessarily a 3D engine like Unity is, but a 2D engine, and which means that it's very hard to pan in between different levels, just like Unity does. Now Construct has a, a workaround for this, which is Z order scaling, but it's not quite the same. The second biggest con is that in order to make games for different platforms, such as the App Store or Xbox, etc., you have to wrap an HTML5 product within a wrapper which will then deploy it to the system. Now this is way more complicated than it needs to be and this is because Construct 3 only exports to JavaScript. So having said that, there are a lot of options but at the end of the day there are some options that are not simply there. I can't upload to the Apple TV for instance because Apple TV doesn't have web views and this is something I really wish Apple would fix. I'd love to make a game in Construct 3 and be able to port it to the Apple TV. So those are the two major cons with Construct 3. Construct 3 does have a store which is not nearly as big as Unity, but at the end of the day, it's not really as important because I personally like making my games from scratch. And I recommend that you always make your games from scratch as well, just because templates actually slow down the process. And this is something that I recommend that you do. So overall, Construct 3 is really easy to use. It does lack some export options, and sometimes you might not be able to make the 2D game that you want in the same way that 
that you would in Unity 3. So now's the time for my opinion on which engine you should use. The engine you should use is Construct 3 and the reason is is that it is so incredibly easy and effortless to get your game out there. I can't stress enough how awesome Construct 3 is and how easy to use it is. And I say that a lot and it's because it's true. I've been making games for a long, long time and Construct 3 is the engine I thought would never exist. Now at the end of the day, Unity is a great game engine and if you like it, then you can absolutely use it. I just personally like Construct 3. The last thing I love about Construct 3 is that you don't need to install anything. You can just simply go to Chrome, type in editor.construct.net and everything is done for you there. You can save to the cloud, everything is done, all the exports are done in that cloud system. It's awesome. All right, so that wraps up this video. Thank you for listening to my opinion about which engine you should use, Construct 3 or Unity. So remember, this channel doesn't do a Patreon. Instead, we add our products down below. Remember that every single dollar that we get from the products that you buy down below goes into making more content. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in another video.